Hello, we are the Ball Launching Robot Team. Our team consists of myself, Chris, Andrew, and Zapanta. Our main goal is that we wanted to make a robot that will allow a dog to play fetch with itself, and our main motivation is to help owners with handicaps. Christopher Bennett was in charge of Mechanical, which comprised of designing the device on CAD and fabricating the prototype. Andrew Nguyen was in charge of Electrical, which comprised of picking electrical components as well as batteries for the correct amount of current. Zapanta Shikarchi, myself, was in charge of Coding, which comprised of writing an Arduino code from a logical flowchart, and troubleshooting any coding errors. The following are some of the calculations we made for our robot. With our 800 kV motors, powered by two 11.1 22 milliamp hour batteries, we could expect 8800 RPM out of our motors. Also, with our 2200 milliamp hour batteries, we could expect 11 minutes at 30% motor speed, and 3 minutes at 100% motor speed. Our design was done on SOLIDWORKS. For our design idea, we had a ball land on a wood funnel, which then goes to a chamber for a servo to push the ball up into a pitching machine funnel. And the pitching machine funnel has two different motors on either side that can be moved side to side and then launch out the funnel. This is the logical flow chart of our prototype. As you can see, after it starts, the state is set to zero with the motors and servo set to zero speed and neutral angle. A sensor begins to read for signals, and if it's not tripped, then it continues to have the state at zero, with motors and servo at zero and neutral angle. But once the sensor is tripped, the state is set to one and a timestamp is taken. Half a second after that timestamp, the motors are set to full speed. One second after the timestamp, the servo begins to push the ball up, and then one and a half seconds after, the ball is, the servo is sent to final position, which means the ball is in the path of the flywheels and is launched. Two seconds after the timestamp, the servo goes back to its neutral angle. Two and a half seconds after the timestamp, the motors are back to zero speed. And then four seconds after the timestamp, it goes back to zero state. Here's a video of our launcher launching the ball. Our fabrication was done and it had one hiccup where we needed to improve the tolerance of the tennis ball launching funnel. But after making this fix, our project worked great. Here is the final circuit design we had for a robot. It remains relatively unchanged from our original circuit design. This is our Fritzing circuit design. It is a more visually friendly display of our circuit. We did a few preliminary tests to slowly add functionality to the robot. The first test was attempting to control the brushless motors with the ESCs. We weren't sure what PWM signal was going to yield an ideal launch for the ball, so we used the potentiometer and the serial monitor to test various ranges of PWM signals sent to the motors. Once we were able to get the ball to launch, we moved forward to getting our loading servo to push the ball into the contact path of our flywheels. We had to make minor adjustments such that the maximum angle of the servo arm wouldn't collide with the Ready? Yep. Finally, we tested our brake beam sensor. The trial and error, we were able to get the timing of all three of our actuators to work in tandem to sense, load, and launch the ball. After initial tests, we went ahead and did real world tests with dogs. On our first test, our ESC burned up, unfortunately, but on our second test, we had a very successful time with the dog. Hey. Go. Good girl! Now we see. This is the final bill of materials of our prototype. As you can see, we have some parts that we purchased, but also some parts that we have scrapped. And overall, our total cost comes out to $75. We're happy to have a working robot by week 10. We also came across many improvements, and we hope that our project inspires others to help handicapped owners play with their pets more. Hey. No! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> See, you knew she okay. would do that. Hey, you hey, hey, hey. It... <laughs> Good girl. Come on. She doesn't know which one she wants. <laughs>